Let us go to linear equation with constant coefficient. Okay? Now, if your equation is of the form algebraic function of d like this, this is an algebraic function of d wherein the operator d is d dx. Okay? So, d cube of y means third degree derivative of y. You are to differentiate y with respect to x twice. You follow? So, in this situation, all you need to do is solve this equation. You equate this to zero and solve the roots. Since this is cubic equation, there must be three roots. If the roots are non-repeated, distinct, and real, so distinct, real, non-repeated roots, then the solution equation will be C1 e to the R1 of X plus C2 e to the R2 of X and so on. R1, R2, R3, and so on are the roots. So what you have to do here is just input this in your calculator. We have a cubic equation solver. So you just press mode 5, then not 2 unknown, not 3 unknown, not 4 unknowns. Down arrow key, then choose quadratic cubic quartic. It's cubic equation, so I press 2. No? So input 1 equals minus 4 equals 1 equals, then 6 equals, equals. So you will have the first roots. The, the roots are 3, that is your x1, equals, you have 2, equals, your x3 is minus 1. These are the three roots. They are different or distinct and they are real roots. So therefore, our solution equation is that y is going to be c1 e to the 3x plus c2 e to the 2x plus c3 e to the minus 1x. So this is going to be your solution equation. You follow? What about if there are roots that are repeated? Real roots that are repeated. Let us say R1 and R2 are equal. So meaning it is repeated twice. R3, R4, R5 are equal. It is repeated thrice. So the equation or the solution equation is Y is for repeated twice quantity C1 plus C2X close quantity E to the R1 of X plus for the equation for the roots that is repeated thrice c3 plus c4x plus c5x squared close quantity e to the r that is repeated thrice times x and so on you get it for example this one so in this equation we have here d cube minus 12 d squared plus 45 d minus 50 y is zero so let I solve this equation when this is equated to zero. I won't convert it to letter M anymore so that we will be uh, saving steps no? or saving time. So input this in your calculator. So we have mode 5 down arrow key. I will write here the step. I am using Canon 789SGA. No? So mode 5 down arrow key. Then you are to choose quadratic, cubic, quartic. This is cubic. So, choose number 2. Okay? So, this is the code for cubic equation. Then, input the values. So, you'll have for A, 1. For B, minus 12 equals. For C, 45 equals. For D, minus 50 equals equals. So you'll notice that after we enter the values, our x1 is 2. How many roots must we have? 3. So x1 is 2, then press equals. x2 is 5. Equals. So notice it returned to the equation. It did not give any x3. What do you mean by this? 
This is cubic that but there are only two roots given here. It means that one root x3 is the same either as 2 or 5. How shall we know? Our calculator will not tell us. So we need certain knowledge on how to come up with x3. Is x3 equal to 2 or equal to 5? How will you know? Take note that this number is the product of roots. So therefore in here, what shall you multiply 2 times 5? What shall you multiply with 2 times 5 that is 10 in order to get 50? 2 times 5 that is 10 times 2 is 20. 10 times 5 is 50. So it means the other root is 5. The roots are 2, 5, 5. I repeat, we are trying to get or find out which root is repeated, 2 or 5. 2 times 5, 10. Right? 10 times 5 is 50. So 5 is repeated. You get it? Or simply divide 50 by 10, that is 5. So this is repeated. Okay? So the roots are 2, 5, and 5. So therefore, our solution is why 2 is not repeated. So this is C1 e to the 2x plus 5 is repeated. So this is C2 plus C3x e to the root 5x. So this is going to be your solution equation. You follow? Now case number 3. If the auxiliary equation has distinct non-repeated complex roots, for example, R1 is A1 plus B1i. If this is a root, then its conjugate A1 minus B1i will be also a root. So, a root and its conjugate always go together. So, it is not possible to have only one complex root. Complex roots will always be even in number. Okay, so let us have this one. If they are distinct, non-repeated complex roots, then the solution will be C1 cosine Bx plus C2 sine Bx e to the Ax. Let us have this one. If we will input this in our calculator, so mode, mode 5 down cubic equation number 2. So input 1 equals minus 8 equals 37 equals then minus 50 equals so what you will have here is that x1 is equal to 2 equals then x2 is equal to 3 plus 4i we expect that 3 minus 4i will be x3 equals so you have here 3 minus 4i so we have here distinct complex root and distinct real roots. So therefore, the solution here is that y for the real roots, it's c1 e to the 2x. For the complex roots, this is your a3. So this is e to the 3x multiplied by c2 cosine of 4x, this one, plus c3 sine of the b for x. So this will be your solution equation to this differential equation. You follow? Case number four here is when the auxiliary equation has repeated complex roots. For example, we have this equation. Once we solve this equation, so mode 5 down arrow key, then quartic equation, so that is 3. So input the coefficient of your d, that is 1 equals minus 12 equals 86 minus 300 equals and then 625 equals equals. So notice the roots that will be given will be x1, 3 plus 4i equals. Your x2 is also this one. So this root is repeated twice, equals. Your x3 is 3 minus 4i, of course. If 3 plus 4i is a root, 3 minus 4i is also a root. So then equals, then x4 is also equal to 3 minus 4i. 
So this is repeated. This and this are repeated twice. Okay? So therefore, our solution equation YC is equal to the A here is 3. A to the 3x times. Because this is repeated twice, you'll have here C1 plus C2 of x cosine of bx, the b is 4, plus C3 plus C4 of x for the repeated root multiplied by the sine of 4x. Close quantity. So this is the solution equation to this differential equation. You follow?